9 and 5, you have access. After 5, you can get to your desk, but you can't get to the executive area. You can't get to the data center. You can only get to your desk. Some places like this, I encourage it. Because I think that minimum access should be the rule, the bare minimum you need. Centralized control, be aware of your cabling limitations. Who uses PoE? How many times have you been burned because you've gone outside of the maximum distance? Anybody? Beautiful design, beautiful building. PoE stopped working halfway across because we needed repeaters and no one thought of it. Keep that in mind when you're doing your arrangement. Power, do you have power for everything? Do you have redundant power? If the power goes out, all your locks suddenly fly open and you become a fire sale. Archiving and disaster planning. Keep your security logs safe. If by some reason a disaster hits, will your security system go to your backup area? Who here has a disaster recovery plan that has a second office? So does your ID card work in both of those offices? If I close up office one, go to office two, beep, does it work? These are things you have to consider when doing arrangement. Approval. This part sucks. Submit all plans, cost schedules, and related data to management so they can be duly rejected. Get quotes from multiple vendors. Know the lifetime requirements of your system. Know what your service plans are. When it comes to cost, you always walk in with three plans, A, B, and C. Who knows this trick? Plan A is ridiculous. We'll get some dental floss and a laser pointer. <laughs> Plan C. Well, there's this quarter million dollar thing that I saw at DEF CON. It shoots a laser and cuts somebody into a hundred pieces like in that movie. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not going to work. Plan B. Well, for 50 grand, we have a vendor who's going to come in here and secure our building with ID cards and cameras. Management says, oh, well, I think plan B is the best. Always go with three plans. Flexibility and options. Make sure that if suddenly somebody says, we're putting a new door over there, you can actually add that new door into your system. Do you have the available space? Do you have the wiring? Do you have the electronics necessary? Whew. And options. We don't want biometrics right now, but a year down the line, we get a new contract. We should probably have some kind of biometrics in there. Can your system handle that? Can you upgrade the system to that? Think ahead. Scheduling. Time frame for completion. This is probably the most abused thing in the whole process. You have to have a time frame. You will violate it, but you have to have it. And make sure that you're not going to interfere with normal business operations. You can't get into the data center because there's a guy with a step ladder there for six weeks putting a screw in the wall. Or you accidentally cut a cable. Or we need access to this part of the building. Construction is not an easy thing. Sometimes you have dust problems, asbestos removal problems. This will disrupt normal business operation. Take this into consideration. Action. We finally get there. Implement the physical installation of the system. This is the fun part, right? Not really. You have to oversee construction. You have to oversee inspections by building inspectors. You have to manage the problems and corrections that will inevitably be needed. You have to train. Train your security officers. Train your users. Establish policy and procedure. Very important because, again, you have to tell users what to do, and you have to have a policy in place. Who has a good security policy in their office? Who's been burned by not having a good one? Exactly. You get those people that say, well, well I had an expectation of security. Eh. You signed that paper when you came on board. Well, I didn't know I couldn't give my access card to my girlfriend to come into the secure area and get the pen off my desk. And, and, and I didn't know I couldn't know. You take care of that early on in the game. Also, testing. Very important. Test everything. Don't believe anyone. As some people say, trust in Allah, but tie up your camel. Test every door, test every alarm, test every relay. Make sure that if you do something like 
You have a landline that sends an alarm to a central monitoring location. If that fails, you have a backup. You have a little mini cell that sends a signal over the cell phone that says, hey, you've been broken into. And then some bastard like me comes along with one of these and says, no, you don't. You're jammed. What do you do? Did you test for that? These are things you have to keep in mind. So what could possibly go wrong? We have this solid methodology, right? We know what we're doing, right? We have made every contingency plan we possibly could, right? Well, guess what? No plan of operations extends with certainty beyond the first encounter with the enemy's main strength. We have known this since World War I. There will be problems, there will be things that can go wrong. And when they do go wrong, your methodology, your training, your experience, and your planning all go up in smoke. The first time somebody blocks their door open because they don't want the lock. The first time someone breaks into your building and something goes wrong. The first time you get hit by lightning, something goes wrong. But in the process of building this, a lot of other things can go wrong. And this is what you are up against. The first thing you have to face is management. Before you even put drawing one on the board, before you put the paycheck out, you have to deal with management and getting your system designed. You have to deal with vendors. <laughs> and that is no fun, but it can be, and I'll show you how. You have people who think they know more than you do. Who has a guy like this in their office? Who has a guy who acts like this in their office? And construction workers, the guys who are going to install your system, you have to deal with them. And last but not least, my personal favorite, your users. <laughs> so let's kick it off. We start with management. What is management? Well, they are responsible for a few things. The pros are they provide your budget, they set the requirements, they tell you what you need to do, they run the show. The con is they know this. I write your paycheck, you do what I say. It's very important to know that they set the requirements, you do not. Your job is to meet their requirements. Now you can nudge them along the way and tell them don't use dental floss and laser pointers, but at the end of the day, what they say goes. So, this is what it's like to deal with management. No, I'm the guy on the table. Now you see, I've given you your requirements and once you fail, I'm going to use this laser to torture you. That's what it feels like. Let me give you some examples of the things I've been through dealing with management. I want a state-of-the-art, high-tech system, FBI, CIA kind of security. This was told to me by a CEO of a rather distinct company. After about six weeks, I came back to him and I said, I can do that. Looking at the floor plan, here's my plan, $54,000. He looked me straight in the eye and he said, can't you just get something from Costco? <laughs> it's getting a little warm in here. So I had to teach him one of the most valuable lessons in physical security. I think this speaks for itself. You cannot expect miracles out of a cheap Costco white box system that came out of China 20 minutes ago on an airplane. Other things, here's another good one. One of my personal favorites. I went to Best Buy and I saw an HDMI cable for 50 bucks. I went online and I saw one for $2. I bought it, it works beautifully. I want you to do the same thing for my security system. I tried to explain to this guy, I said, look, what if your cheap system you found on the internet breaks? There's no repair, there's no service contract. Oh, that's okay, he said. I'll just buy another one. How many of you think that's ridiculous? Good, I feel vindicated then. 
So I had to explain to him, you know, you want to replace your security system every six months? And then where's your backup? Where's your video storage? Where's your records? Where's anything you need? He, that CEO came around after a while. So when you deal with management, key things. Be knowledgeable on the equipment, technologies, and best practices for your industry. Very important. If you are making car parts, you don't have the same problems if you're InfoSec. If you're InfoSec, you don't have the same problems as a bank. If you're a drug dealer, you've got more problems than I can even get into. But know what you need and know what's required for your industry. Understand the impact of your project. Go to management and say, I understand that we're going to have to shut down the West Wing for a week while we do this. Management actually will appreciate this. Prevent facts. Support your facts with documentation, no risk, impact, and prove mitigation. We have a front door. The front door could be kicked in. Therefore, we are going to use solid steel front doors with crash bars, sensors located in the edges, and we will have a camera on entry and egress. Now, what you've just done is you've identified the problem, you've identified the risk, and you've shown how to mitigate it. And you did so in two sentences. Management will love you. You will get to take the boss's daughter to the prom. Present in a factual and respectful manner, unlike what I'm doing right now. Show your work. Explain your reasoning behind every inch of your design. Why do we have 30 cameras? Why can't we have five? We have 30 cameras because we have redundancy in every zone. Oh, that sounds good. If you don't know something, you don't know something. Very important. There is no shame in saying, I don't know. There's a lot of shame in not finding out. Go back, find out, and present, and say, this is what I found. I didn't know about this. I didn't know that I could use a mushroom stamp as a biometric ID. Okay. They make these things. If you want one, I'll design it into the system. Most important, be prepared to lose gracefully and to win by being a sneaky bastard. You will lose against management. They have the ultimate veto power. Lose gracefully. Don't go up there and go, you bastard. How dare you reject what I did? I put a... No. I understand your concerns, and I will address them and send you a new proposal within 30 days. Then go out drinking. The soda paradox. This is the most important thing I could tell anybody about dealing with management. This actually happened. Only the products have been changed to protect the guilty. This happened during a physical security engagement. Management, get me a soda. I come back and say, here you go. Here's a Pepsi. Management, why did you bring me a Pepsi? I wanted a Coke. Go get me a Coke. Sorry, here's a Coke. Seems good so far, right? Simple, little mistake. Okay, this is a Coke. I don't want this. I want the cheaper Walmart branded Coke. It's the same thing, it's a little cheaper. Why aren't you listening to me when I'm telling you what I want? Now go get me a soda. All right, I'm sorry about that. Here's your Sam's Choice Soda. Now this is closer to what I want, the manager said. What's the calorie difference between this and a Coke? I don't know. Ah, uh, once you said you didn't want Coke, I just didn't look at Coke anymore. You said you didn't want this. But, but, but I need to know these things. You can't just ignore something because I don't want it. That is a quote. <laughs> I had to sit in front of a CEO and have him tell me this. Now, make me a spreadsheet comparing the calories between the sodas. I go away and come back. Here's a spreadsheet with the calorie counts of each brand of soda. Who knows what's coming next? Where are the pictures? I want to see what the cans look like. I'm sorry, but you didn't ask for that. You asked for a comparison of calorie counts. Dum, da dum, dum. Why do you never listen to me? You don't know your job very well. I also want to know where the cola nuts are grown, so in case I need to know that, I'll have that information. He actually said this. 
I want to be able to pick up my cell phone and call you and have you tell me 